loaded out there. And I haven't stopped eating, drinking, celebrating and being joyous. So I just wanna say right off the bat that skinny and fat is a very subjective term. I think that everyone has their own level of comfortability and I think no matter if you're a negative zero or on up into the 30s, whatever your size is, you still have those days where you know you may feel a little bit more bloated or heavy than others. So I think it's just a natural thing to feel. And so today, I wanted to give you guys style tips on how to look skinny, whatever your interpretation of the word is, when you're feeling So if you love this video and you found these tips helpful, make sure you tap that little subscribe button down there. And let's get to the tips. When wearing or shopping for bottoms, go with wide waistbands. And that means at least an inch and a half-ish or wider, I'm telling you. Because in this way, it molds to the curves or, you know, let's be honest, your belly. Instead of digging into it, I think we can all relate to like, you know, when things digging into the rolls or the stomach. And this eliminates that issue. And bonus skinny points if that wide waistband also has a wide belt or sash. That way you kind of get double the effect and then you can just cinch it and bring your waist in to create shape. And I think this outfit also busts that fashion myth that pleats make you look quote unquote fat. Um, no they don't. They just have to fit and lay right. Case in point with these pants. And if you're having one of those days where you feel a little bloated or thick around the middle, you may want to stay away from the itty bitty teeny flimsy waistband like this one. Tiny waistbands can tend to dig in and sometimes roll up into themselves because there's no structure keeping it formed and molded around your waist. So for me, although I love a tiny waistband, when I'm feeling a little bloated, it's the last thing I want to wear. I'm gonna go on record to say that every single person, no matter what your shape or size, can look good in a jumpsuit. Yes, even if you are in your 80s or if you're five years old. <laughs> They're also super comfortable. You can see there's a lot of room in the waist and there's an adjustable waistband, so you can adjust it. And then there's a lot of room in the thighs. It is just like walking around in your PJs and still very flattering. Now on to the tight shirt and tight jeans, something I rarely wear because I just feel like it's so clingy. The solution, a structure kimono top in a brilliant in-your-face color. I got this one at Anthropology, and again, it's kind of like pajama dressing, but totally suitable for most things that you do in your life. And it hides a multitude of figure concerns from your booty to your thighs to your waist to your arms. It is just ultimate comfort chicness spectacular. Oh man, I'm dramatic. Now, if you want to create the illusion of a narrower frame, buy clothes that have upside down triangles with the narrowest part of the triangle pointing towards the center of your figure. This draws the eye to the center of your figure and up and down rather than side to side. And you can also create the illusion of this by pairing a tank top or camisole over a turtleneck or t-shirt. This is a little DIY tip that gives the same effect. So my mission is that these tips help you feel just a little bit more confident in your clothes. And also, don't get down on yourself for maybe eating a little bit too much for the holidays. I mean, we all did it. You gotta enjoy life, right? I'm not eating any low fat, like low calorie stuff in the holidays, let me tell you. Please let me know what your favorite tip was or just how your holidays were. I would love for you guys to leave me some comments. And if you're new to this channel, just give me a little subscribe. I promise there is a lot of fun stuff in store for 2018. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone.